Hi, welcome to Greater PowerPoint One. This is the first of a few PowerPoints for the graders. I want you to notice that I already brought up our project grid right here where the downloads all the way to the submission is in. The reason for that is I want to show you that these downloads, there's many of them for this particular grader. So you have the instructions, the PowerPoint, and then a couple of inputs. Okay, We don't know what those are just yet until we read the instructions, but know that you have to download all of them. So download all those files. Where will they be downloaded? Just think about that for a moment. You open it up, you notice that they're in the downloads, the PC downloads. That's where they're all located. Now let's get started with the instructions. They'll be popping up. Here it is. So we have 17 steps. The first one, opening up PowerPoint. There we go. PowerPoint's now open. Next up, number two. Just before we get started with number two, one thing I want to make sure you know is always, when you're looking at your work, look for the PDF. So you can see what it's going to look like. Not very many slides, but at least you know. I'd either print this out or leave it near you so you can refer to it. Back to step number two. We are going to replace, let me just get, make sure I get this right, replace all occurrences of the text, of the north text with northern and then change the layout to slide, the, change the layout of slide one to title slide. So let's do control F. We're going to locate and we're looking for replace all occurrences of north. So type in north. Okay. And then we're going to place it with northern. Whoops. <laughs> northern. There we go. Place it all. And we have, it says re, we have two. They made two of them. It's so good. The northern lights. So Next part of this, number two areas, we're going to change the layout. So here's the layout for number one, and we're going to change it to a title slide. That's all it's asking, see title slide. That's done for number two. Here we are. Number three, apply the ION boardroom theme with the default purple variant to the presentation, so the boardroom theme. All right, let's do that now. Go over to Designs. And the first thing we'll do is click here on the Themes under Design tab, Ion Boardroom. You hover over, you can see it. And it also says with the default purple variant, and it looks like that's what it is. All right. Okay, make sure you select the bottom one as well to get the theme. Next up, we're going to go to step four. Change the slide size to widescreen 16.9. So take a look through here and slide size to 16.9 right here. Number four is done. Going on to number five with slide one displayed. Okay. Open the reuse slide pane. So we're going under the slides. This is the re to reuse slides pane or to find that. It's under slides. Click on that. If you go to the bottom, you see reuse slides. Then it says browse. Or we're going to specifically browse our file. Now, remember when we downloaded, we did it in our downloads. Here's what I had to do, just I want you to know. Let's take that slide, this part, the O1G slide right here. 
and uh, m separately move it into the downloads or separately move it into the desktop. Okay, see this? This way you're able to open it up. Now, be very specific. I, I, I clicked on it. Let's take a look. If necessary, clear the keep source formatting checkbox and then insert the last two slides. Okay, so let's just make sure that's right. If necessary, clear the keep. Okay, we don't have to do anything here. And we're going to select. Oops, I've hit too many buttons, so I'll have to go back and re redo that. But I'm looking for the last two slides. So basically it says, now we got it, the last two slides, right there at the bottom. All right. Now the Mac users, if you read the other notes, is after importing the slides, delete three and five. That's for Mac. All right, that concludes number five. We're going on to number six, which is display slide four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're on that. Click at the end of the first bullet point after the word time. First bullet point after the word time. There it is. Zoom in so you can see it. What do we have now, which is press the space bar, add the words for viewing. Okay, for viewing. And then in the same slide, increase the list level of the second and third bullet points. Okay. Okay, so we see where this where my arrow is going right now. I'll just make sure it hovers over there so you can see increased list level. That is right where my cursor, excuse me, my arrow is pointing. Look what happens. Okay. It moved over. But let's just make sure we're on the same page. I'm going to bring out the overview. Here we go. This is what it should look like. Looks like we're going to do more in a minute, but right now this is where we wanted to be. Let's take a look. There it is. Okay. So we're on to the next one, number seven. Okay, and with slide four still displayed, which we have, select the title. Okay, do that right now. Select the title. and change the font size to 32. In the notes pane, type the following notes. All right. So right click here. All right, so you can just see the notes back and forth. I'm just going to hit it a couple times. Now you see it, and then the lights reach their peak in September. Make sure you have a period at the end of the sentence. We're done with seven, moving on to eight. Next part on, slide, on number eight is slide two, right here. Select the paragraph of the text, right here, paragraph of the text. Notice it says the Aurora Borealis. This should be the number two. All right, then change the font color to purple accent six. Let's do that. Purple accent six. Purple accent six. What percent? Sixty percent. Oops. There we go. Change it to sixteen font. Make it bold. All right. I'm gonna hit save right now, and I'm gonna save it to my desktop because I hadn't done that yet. So I'm gonna save this to my desktop. All right. Now on to number nine. In the same paragraph, change the line spacing to 1.5. So we have that. Change it to line spacing 1.5 over in paragraph. And then center to paragraph slide. Got it. Number nine is done. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can slow down and rewind any time you want. That's the beauty of having a video. Number 10, the slide two, with slide two, still displayed. 
Format the picture with soft edge rectangle. Okay. So I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to hover over for that soft edge. So let's take a look at here's a soft edge. Soft soft edge rectangle. So let's see if we got that. It's doubled. Shadowed. And just look around to see what we have. Soft edge rectangle. All set. We're going to do that and the marker artistic effect. All right, so let's do this one thing. Hit that and then go over to artistic effect and find marker. Let's see what we got. Marker. Second one in. All right. We did all of that. Now we're on number 11. Display number three, slide number three. Slide number three for number 11 in the content placeholder on the right from the download grader files. Insert the picture, apply the reflective round. Okay, so in the content placeholder, right over here, this is the content placeholder. Click to add. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a picture. So like this and go over to our downloads I'm not seeing it so if you're not seeing it let's just do one thing to make sure we get it right I'm going to go to my normal files to my normal downloads and I'm going to look for my date here just give me a second let it download here it is. What I'm going to do is take my images right now, take all of these, I'm going to highlight them, and I'm going to move them to my desktop so I can have them. Now I can access them. So let's go back. Go to my desktop. Actually, let me go completely back. Here's the slide. Here are the pictures. I click on that. And now I'll go to desktop. I'm going to put my modified date on. Sometimes that's easier to find things. Going back to what the question's asking us or telling us what we need to do. Lights PG. So here it is. Click on it. There, there are the lights. And then with this we're going to apply a reflective round rectangle picture style. So let's do that. Rounded. That says that's oval. Here's a round. That's oval as well. And it's, excuse me, it's rounded, not round. It's reflected rounded. Let's just hover over that so you can see it. Reflected, rounded rectangle. Got it. Now we're done with number 11. For number 12, it's a simple move slide 4 between 2 and 3. So let's go to slide 4. Here it is. And move it between 2 and 3. Here's 2. Here's 3. Done. Okay, number 12 is done. Now number 13, display slide four okay insert a new slide with the section header layout okay so i'm going to do a new a new slide with a section header in the title placeholder type visit fairbanks and view northern lights okay so this is the title And we've got that in there with the exclamation. And then in the text placeholder, which is on this right side, we're going to do with Kodiak West Travel. 13 is done. We're going on to number 14. Apply the uncover transition and change the effect option to 
from top. So we'll go up to the transitions here and just we're going to apply the uncover. And it's asking us to also change that duration to 1.25. Apply the transit effect to all the slides. Okay, all the slides have it. And you can see that there's this animation on this left hand side that shows you that, that it's in that's enacted. So that's all set there. We are now moving on to number 15, insert a header and footer. So we'll go under inserts the keyword, and we're going to do header and footer. Include the date and time updated automatically. So let's do date and time. Updated automatically, date and time. OK. The page number. I'm going to say that. A f All right, so that's it. Now it says the next a footer with the text Northern Lights presentation. And then apply to all slides. And apply to all slides. Okay. Let's just double check on that. Let's look at the bottom. I'll zoom out a little bit. Northern Lights presentation with the date. Good. Now, the looks like the last one is number 16. Actually, the second to last is display the document properties. Okay. And then we're going to type in tags. So display the document is under file. Display the document file. And there are the tags. And in the tags, we're going to type I already have that in there. Northern Lights and Fairbanks is tags. And it says save, close, and number 17, 16 and 17 are done. Now go get your A. I hope you do well. Remember, if there's any uh, mistakes with the points, you can always go back and redo it. It tells you exactly what you may have missed. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.